Hey coders and welcome to episode 11 now of our slide service playlist on the Google Apps Script course. In this video we're going to be talking about word art on a slides presentation. So the class of word art actually isn't that built out on the slide service. I think it's probably because not too many people use word art on slides, but I've picked out the top four methods that you might want to use eventually in your programming career, and that is as word art, get word arts, insert word art, and get rendered text. So let's look at all these methods in the code. We have finally reached the last of the page elements in this playlist. So if we go into our presentation, we've looked at group, we looked at images, we looked at lines, shapes, sheets, charts, tables, videos, and now the last one to go is word art. So word art is basically a text, but it's a little bit more formatted. It's treated somewhat like an image, so you can stretch it all around. Uh, but that is word art. Again, you don't use it that frequently, but it's good to know. All right, so like we've done in every single episode concerning a page element, let's first convert this into its specific object type. And to do that, you need your page element. Again, a page element will only give you generic uh, methods that concern all of the page elements in general. But if we want now to convert it into a specific word art object, we would say as word art. We've seen this before. So I'll just say constant word art to save that for later. And then now let's look at the second method, which is get word arts. And then, of course, we all know what, what this does. It goes onto the slide and it gets all of the word arts in an array. And this will specifically bypass the page element step. So you won't have to first get the page elements and then convert those page elements into word art. This is what it's going to do uh, for you by using this method. So. Let's just log or log this one last time to make sure that it is indeed um, getting our word art. Alrighty, there we go. All right, if we hit save now and we hit run, we'll view our logs. And if we go back into our presentation, again, we only have one word art on this slide, so it should just return a one element long array of a word art. Alrighty. We'll wait a little bit longer. All right, there it is. So here is our one element long array, and it has a word art in there. All right, so that is get word arts. Now let's talk about inserting a word art. So if we say slide dot insert word art, you can see that we only have one option this time. So this is what I was talking about. Word art isn't that uh, built out yet. So the only way we can insert a word art is if we have a pre-existing word art that's on some other slides somewhere. So let's just use this word art that we have just collected and we'll basically just duplicate that on our slide. All right, so if we hit now save and run. All right, that will insert our word art. And if we look back on our slide, it has inserted it, but it's overlapping exactly the previous word art. And the way to see that is we'll just click and drag this over. And you can see this was our original word art, and this was the one that was just inserted. All right, let's delete that for now because it's in the way. And let's comment this out and look at our very last method, and that is get render text. So if we now take our word art, we can get a method off of that called get rendered text. And this isn't the same as get text because get text would give us a text range element. This is just going to give us a string. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna look at this word art and it's gonna be like, all right, what is the text basically, or what is the string that is rendered into this word art? And that is exactly app script. So if we now log or log this, and confirm just to confirm that it is a uh, that it is app script that is the rendered text. We'll view our logs, and as always, we'll wait for our logs. And there it is, right there. So that is app script, which is exactly what is rendered in this word art. All right, guys, so that is it. Unfortunately, there is no such thing as setting the text. There is no uh, get text method and followed by a set text. Of course, you can't just set text right off of the word art, which is kind of a bummer, but if you think about it, 
how often do you use word arts on slides anyways and how often in uh, additional to that do you have to programmatically uh, mess with it so again it's not that big a deal that we can't set the text but it's good to know at least some of these methods on a word art so if you enjoyed this video and learned something on it then don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button otherwise guys I'll see you in the next one